let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! And most of you guys know I'm considering getting a lightweight a street fighter. I'm not going to replace this bike. This bike is staying. I'm just thinking about adding a third bike. And uh, as I told you guys, I was considering the Aprilia Tuano, the BMW S1000R, the new 2017 FZ09. I ruled out the FZ10 because I really didn't. I feel like it's, uh, it's a little hefty for my taste. Actually, the Aprilia Tuano is kind of hefty as well. Um, I really am leaning towards the 2017 FZ09, but now this Triumph Street Triple looks really sick a lot of my viewers that, that have owned that bike or had that bike they say the bike is absolutely awesome me the old the older versions so but as i told you guys that you know in a uh, that i'm really not too keen on euro bikes too much uh just because part prices are generally higher you know maintenance is generally more expensive they're really not, in my opinion, as reliable as the Japanese bikes, but they're reliable though enough. Um, but I think I do need to. It would be nice to experience a European bike, especially for this channel, and uh, and I can actually, you know, just experience it for myself and let you know if they're reliable or not. But the street, the Triumph Street Triple, looks to be a a fantastic redesign even though they did not redesign the looks of the bike the looks of the bike still look the same one thing that I've never really liked on that bike is the headlights it looks like somebody stole the fairings off that bike and uh, that's the ugliest part of the bike otherwise everything else on the bike is, is really nice but like I told you guys I generally don't ride a motor you know get a motorcycle specifically for its looks if I did I'd probably have the Ducati Panigale which is a beautiful bike, but it doesn't equate to a great street bike. Um, so, yeah, the new Triumph Street Triple. They have three different versions now. They have the uh, S base model, then they have the R, and then they have the, the top level RS version, which the top level RS version, which I would probably get because it's got all the upgraded components. Uh, I would get the, uh, it has 121 horsepower and I think 57 foot-pounds of torque. They shortened the first and second gear so it's a little quicker off the line now. Uh, the bike is a little bit lighter too. I think it's sitting as like 366 pounds uh, dry. I don't know what the wet weight is. Um, they did up the cc's like I said, uh, if I mentioned it or not, 765 cc's now. And, uh, like I told you, a lot of viewers have told me that bike is the business. And I would love, I'm going to see if I can get a test ride. I want to do a lot of test rides, man. I've hardly done any test. I think I've only done one test ride on my channel. And that was a, uh, a Harley Davidson, uh, I forgot the name of it. What do they call that? Breakout. Harley Davidson Breakout, which... I absolutely it was a, a decent all right bike but I felt like it was overpriced and definitely underpowered if you haven't seen that video go check it out pretty hot chick in there if you want to see a hot chick which is kind of rare in my videos <laughs> but if you want to see that hot chick and my opinion on that bike and cruisers in general go check that out you know you want usable power out here on the streets you know what and having a lightweight bike that's what it is for at least for my preferences I like a bike that you can just throw around like this bike that's why I love this bike so is that it uh, this bike only weighs 441 pounds stock wet and uh, I've got it down to like 430 about 435 pounds and for the power on it the power to weight ratio on this bike is absolutely sick it has and it has really strong mid-range so, you know, it's going to be really tough for me to find a bike that compares to this bike. But I'd love to test that Speed Triple out. Um, I can probably, I'm sure I'd be able to get uh, warm up to its looks. That, that those two atrocious headlights. <laughs> I want, why don't they change a headlight on that bike? Those headlights. I don't know. I, I guess they just want, that's their thing with that bike I guess it's it's custom look no I will be holy shit 
careful. Back real, real slid a little bit, man. Getting some, some unwanted slide action out here. It's one thing you got to be careful with with these uh, super bikes that don't have the traction control. Especially this bike, man. You get too cute on the throttle going around the corner, just hit it a little bit too much. It can spin that rear wheel out, man. Set, could possibly set you up for a real fucked up day. Which luckily I haven't had that, but it's all about throttle control. That's why I tell you, you new riders out there, that these super bikes, especially that don't have the electronic rider raids that could probably save your ass, is uh, you, you definitely don't want to start on these bikes. Best to start small, work your way up, and appreciate and uh, just experience the different bikes, different power classes. It's all about the experience. It's not about who's got the fastest bike out here. But hey guys, I'll keep you guys posted on what I'm doing. But if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, psychocruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my videos. All my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends and let them know that the new street triple is the business. Triumph is making moves. But hey guys, that's all I have for you. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Subscribe today.